Hello and welcome to a review of Snoopy's Cake Shop by Remet. Um, I reviewed uh, previously, I reviewed some of a uh, uh, fridge that they have uh, placed. This, oh yeah, this, this teddy fridge, as well as a pack of eight boxes of Sailor Moon accessories. Like uh, for each character. And just like this one, it has eight boxes inside. And um, usually these boxes come with a sticker that I've peeled here, and a sticker. It's meant to represent a full set inside the box. If this has been damaged, then you're not guaranteed a full set. Because inside this box, all the boxes, you don't know what's inside the individual boxes, but if a box is sealed, you do get a full set. So that's like that one's a lot of items in here, or about roughly 112 scale. And um, a lot of stuff going on here. And there's actually a little hook there, you can hook up the box. And uh, yeah, Snoopy's Cake Shop. There's a lot of stuff in here. Each box inside looks like this. You can use reseal these. This, this little flap on each side of the box, so they can they're resealable. I'm um, just like all oh, boxes should, well, for collectibles anyway, I think. And yeah, Snoopy's Cake Shop, and on the side of the box it shows you one to eight, all the different ones you can get. And inside each box, all the plastic bits are inside little baggies, and all the bags have individual compartments, just like some mini model kits from Bandai. So similar packaging. And um, focus, yeah. And just like the Sailor Moon one, you got the instruction sheet and in, not instruction like a um, inventory list to make sure you're not missing anything from each box. And on each of these papers on the inside, it shows you like a kind of menu thing. <laughs> each of these are printed identical on this side, and this side shows you what you got as well. It's an area that you can cut out, and you got a uh, I guess it's like a Snoopy sort of um, birthday card, birthday hat I mean, and like a happy anniversary card. And number two, you get these uh, table napkins, you see look, you can put a little cupcake on it. And uh, you got these, oh these little, um, I guess these are like food signs, you know, they put it in front of the food in like a counter so you know what it is. Got a leaflet, more sheets to put the food on them. Yep, more. This is like a little sheet to go in the cake tray. Uh, one of these. Um, that's a coaster for the cup. And these ones are. I don't know, I don't know what these are. You fold these, so. I don't know what these are. Um, are they menus? Hmm. Another sheet to put the cake on, another hat. And um, another sign, some more display pieces. A sign and the uh, little cloth to put the cake on. And back to uh, number one. So let's take a look at the uh, little item. So number one, you have a cake tray, a tiny Woodstock candle. And the sudden gimmick of these is that all these little things are highly detailed. Say Woodstock, and no, that's just a silver base. You got a Woodstock candle, this tray, and you got this cake, which I'd even put bottle to make it at the bottom look like a cake. So it's happy anniversary. All this cream and stuff on there. And I guess you can put Woodstock on top. It's a candle. A bottle of. Um, well, it's champagne glass, but it's apple juice because I guess Snoopy is more kiddie. So they have to do with that, and even the bottom is also molded in the shape of the fold of the tin foil. This sticker sheet on the bottom, on the bottom though, is um, peeling a little bit, which isn't that good. At least it's realistic. Uh -huh. um, and you have a, uh, I guess it's meant to be a plush Snoopy. Um, oops. The molding on the Snoopy, however, isn't too good. I think it's a bit rough. Uh, molding junction line is a bit obvious. In the Paint job on the bow tie isn't too good, but apart from that, the rest of this stuff is pretty good. And the plastic quality seems, well, decent. With box number two, we have this uh, display baking tray. It was stock chocolatey sandwich sort of thing. Hmm. A uh, white Snoopy one with strawberry cream, I guess. 
a um, doggy shaped brownie with sauce on one on the top, I guess. So that goes on the tray as well. A Snoopy head shaped yellow cupcake. Hmm. And um, little uh, what do you call these? The little grabby things to pick up the uh, sweet sweeties without getting your hand dirty. Number three here, you have this, um, this little box that is cardboard that you have to fold yourself. Comes flat in the package, and um, too much light on that. That's better. And it has a pretty neat box. Um, got some comic strips printed on it. They are, you know, I can't read them with my eyes, but they do hurt a little bit because they're so tiny. And what can go inside this box? Well, you got a um, some sort of pink cream filled donut. You've got a, a green Snoopy donut with some brown sauce. You have a, a chocolate spread jar. No, I, I tried opening it but I couldn't. I mean, there's two pieces of plastic but I think it's like glued down. It's like a Snoopy jar. It's got the tiny ingredients printed there. It feels solid. I don't think it's hollow. It could be hollow, but at least it's thick plastic. And finally, a chocolate chip cookie tin. It's all the way around. It's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's just a metallic printed plastic with, you know, bits print uh, sticker stuck on it, but um, still pretty cool. Box number four, you have a yellow version of that, uh, you know, that plate. Got some rolls. Cream filled rolls, you got a Snoopy and a Woodstock one, and you have another one of these little chocolatey bone thingies. And then there's a, there's a bell. Well, it's not actually a bell, but it looks like a bell. There's a Snoopy bell. Another one of these little clip thingies. And um, this lid for this dish, but um, the Woodstock on here is very bent, and I tried bending it back, but I think it's just glued on wrong, and I'm I am a little worried if I bend it too much I will snap woodstock, but um, I guess I'm trying to you know, eventually bend it back a little bit each time. Box number five, we have a you know, little stand for the cake shop. We have a tiny flower pattern uh, plate. Unfortunately this plate does feel very cheap, but uh, there it is. And you can hold this you know, Snoopy cupcake on the plate like so and also comes with a little um, I guess it's a milkshake um, the contents is a single piece the straw sticks in the little hole of the uh, milkshake next we have a golden Snoopy plate have a nice tea time you have this cake to go on top the bottom of the cake is what well, looks like a cake so that's cool but on the outside you just got cream going all the way around so snoopy got creamy bits there um got a little cup so it's, like a little, it's got a pattern on it's like a little jelly dessert cup um and you got these you got a star shape looks like to be some sort of marshmallow you got a heart shaped one that's pink and you got a little Woodstock thing, which I'm guessing you're supposed to stand there to make a cup like Woodstock cake. And another one of these cake covers, which um, doesn't quite fit on this golden plate. Hmm. Box number seven, you have another one of these little gold plates. It says have a nice tea time, it's the same one. And, uh, it's thick enough, but again, this, this these pieces feel a bit cheap. And uh, you have a little, like a tin cake in the shape, shape of Snoopy. You have this big square cake, which you do need to cut out the paper sheet to have a uh, Snoopy pattern go all the way around. You see this this line there, which um, so you have to damage this in order for for this piece. Uh, I'm not going to bother. And you got these two sort of lollipops, put stock as Snoopy. They just sort of on little sticks. They're very soft plastic, so they don't break easily. And you have this. I guess it's a chocolate cheesecake pie thing, something. And have one chocolate chip cookie, which um, this the cream in there is shaped just right for the cookie to rest in there. So you got a cookie on top of a very fatty pie already. And finally, box number eight, you get well another little cake box. It is different from the other cake box. By the way, they didn't cut any uh, gaps on the top of the fold, so um, 
and usually the boxes have a little cut in the cardboard so when you close the box it will clip into this but they haven't cut that so I guess you cut that yourself but anyway um, yeah and the comics are you know, incredible in here and this is supposed to hold a very thick Snoopy chocolate brownie cake so you can stick that in there if you want to or not, like I'm not going to right now and um, the other thing that comes with this is pretty cool um, let me just fill it properly so you have this I guess gob stopper, yeah, you know, jaw stopper, whatever candy bubble gum chewing gum uh, machine. It's got the hole up there. Uh, it doesn't look too good. Like it looks a bit rough with the plastic going down there. It has a little hat to cover up the top. You got these little balls in there, and this actually functions. Well, at least I think it does. Um, it did last time. Uh, basically, this thing. You I can't turn this clockwise anymore. It's 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 stuck inside. So uh, what, it's, what it's supposed to do is, if I turn it anti-clockwise, um, it should let one of these come out. I didn't. So let's do that again. So, oh, all oh, right. You turn it one way, and then you turn it the other way. Okay. Oh, okay. So you need to turn it clockwise, anti-clockwise first, and then turn it clockwise and one of these little balls will pop out and this lime green orange and white so I guess mint orange and peppermint or something so you have these little minty things inside so yeah, it's functioning uh, I like these little things when they do function it's pretty cool and there you go this thing costs about 200 Hong Kong and it's expensive because of all the different pieces that you get each piece almost all pieces in here are supposed to be different molds I mean you do have a few uh, things that do reoccur like you got the two golden dishes and you've got the two colored sort of cake stands so those are a bit different and little cardboard boxes but apart from that a lot of the other stuff are different molds you know you got um, different cake shapes and stuff um, this bottle is the same shape as the pink one from Sailor Moon, so that's where the, you know, the budget gets cut a little bit. But apart from that, I mean, the whole set does look pretty nice, and uh, who would get this? People who would like the look of this, of course, and people who want, um, you know, their one twelve scale figures to have something to take photos with, uh, to go on the third places and whatnot, and. Um, I say 112, but I guess it would fit something more of a 1.6 scale figure as well. They should be able to fit both. Uh, they don't look out of place when, say for example, the, the Sailor Moon figure arts are holding their items in the bags and stuff. And um, so yeah, they're a bit of a middle, they can be either scale, and that, that's pretty good. So, yeah, if you like what you see here and think it would be useful, or your figures display, or you just like the look of it on its own, I do recommend picking it up. It's not too expensive for what it is, and uh, you get a lot of pretty neat little things in here. That's it for the review, but um, I'm gonna see what I can put in this fridge. I, I, I guess, you know, I don't know if that's gonna be exciting or not, but hey, see, last time, last time I put some stuff in here. Now I actually have some Snoopy stuff to put, put in here. Uh, they also do, like I said, Sailor Moon, and they also do lots of uh, Doraemon and other cute Hello Kitties and whatnot. So, yeah. 